I'm back guys, back from the Rona. She was a nasty son of a But today, we're gonna slowly get into it. I'm gonna talk to you about how I felt with the Rona and uh, do some legs. Probably not gonna be able to walk for like two weeks, but it's gonna be good, so let's go. All right guys, we're back. I survived Rona, like I said, and honestly, uh, it took me about 14, 15 days to get back on my feet from it. Uh, I typically get pretty sick. I don't normally get like a common cold. I get like the flu, pneumonia, rare strands of certain viruses. Um, so, you know, kind of sucked. It was kind of weird when it came on. I felt extremely fatigued uh, the week prior to getting it. And I thought it was just because of uh, training. I was kind of ending my training block. So I was pushing pretty hard. Uh, but then started getting body aches, fever, chills, all that kind of stuff. And it uh, put me on my butt, like I said, for a long time. Uh, so best thing to do, quarantine. Didn't leave my room for 14 days, so I didn't affect anybody. Uh, and then once I was clear, you know, no symptoms, not contagious, slowly starting to get back at it, very slowly. So the weights you're gonna see today, nothing heavy, nothing crazy. Just trying to get a sweat in, kind of reintroduce uh, some exercise and resistance training to my body. And uh, we'll kind of go through my workout, talk more about it, uh, give you guys some leg training tips, and that'll be it for today. All right, guys, first on tap, we got SSB squats. I've made a whole video on the SSB bar specifically. Right here, check it out on why I like it. This is actually a Titan SSB bar. I think it's really great, even though it's from Titan. People have mixed reviews, but it's held up really nicely here. Uh, in terms of squatting for me right now, Frequency is gonna be about two leg days per week, putting a lot of emphasis on my deadlift and my press, uh, but I'm just trying to get in two squat sessions. So the first one is gonna be an SSB squat, second one is gonna be some sort of variation, uh, maybe box squats, tempo squats, etc. cetera. Uh, but right now, just concerned with getting blood flow to the legs, nothing crazy, couple sets of five around the RPE seven today, and I'll move on to some more leg exercises. All right, so top set today is going to be 290 for a couple sets of five. It honestly feels like 500 pounds to me, uh, but that's to be expected. So slow and steady wins the race. That's what they say. In terms of competitions, I'm thinking about doing uh, a competition where it's the best 105 kg strongman in the world against each other. Uh, I have to qualify for it first. And then if I qualify, I think it's going to be sometime around uh, end of April or May. Uh, Anthony Furman is hosting it, two-time world strongest 105. Uh, it's going to be set up just like. Uh, world's strongest man with three days and obviously if you don't make the first day you're done if you make the first day move on to the second day so kind of like process of elimination so that's kind of what I may do in the future and I'm also trying to cut about 10 pounds so my water cut to get to uh, 232 uh, or under 232 is gonna be a lot easier uh, yeah Woo! One more, one more. Oh God. In terms of Rona, main symptoms for me, really bad body aches, fever. Uh, I had a sore throat, but it was like in my like trachea. It was kind of weird. Uh, and then I got really bad uh, neck pain and almost pain that like went down my legs. It was like nerve pain. And that was actually probably one of the worst symptoms uh, because it prevented me from sleeping a lot and getting good rest because of how bad my neck and my back hurt. Uh, I really didn't go too much to my chest, which is what caused a lot of problems for people. Uh, so I got very lucky there. Uh, but honestly, the main thing that helped me through it was just isolating myself, resting as much as possible, consuming tons and tons of fluids, trying to get in food when I could, uh, although I did lose the uh, taste and smell, which is kind of the common thing that everybody's losing. Still don't have it. It's going on my third week. Uh, which is whatever. Uh, so at this point I just eat to get full. I don't really care what I'm eating because I can't taste it as much. Uh, but yeah, so was, that's kind of the, the worst of it. Keep it rolling. 
Oh man, this thing gives me crazy flashbacks to leg training with Dr. Mike and Charlie. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link them up right here. But PTSD on the hack squat, nonetheless. Um, so a couple foundational principles for getting some Godzilla sized legs. First and foremost, you have to build a base. And the way to do that is gonna be squatting, okay? So if you're not squatting, really invest some time to making squatting a priority and keeping that as a big main movement for your leg training days. I did a really cool video, John Meadows. I really love how he lays out his leg training days, which kind of has a strength slash powerlifting start and then goes into hypertrophy. So I took some of those principles from him and I've been using it in my training block that I'm currently doing because I'm a couple months out, I can still put a good amount of volume in and really try to bring up the size and strength of my legs. So check that video out right up here. Uh, but if you're doing things like leg extensions, a lot of hamstring curls and not prioritizing big uh, compound movements, I think you're losing out on some really valuable gains. So throw those in, make it a priority. You're really gonna see the size uh, and strength of your legs go up. Let me tell you kids something. Before I had a Rona, I used to squat 600 for reps. And now I'm at 200 for a set of 15. Don't get the Rona. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to one of my most hated but loved exercises, Bulgarian split squats. These things smash your quads and for some reason always leave me crazy winded. When I'm done, I'm glad I did them. Uh, so I'm just going to do two or three sets, anywhere from 10 to 12 reps. Uh, you get a nice good leg pump and then I'll finish up with some lying hamstring curls. Mainly is it going to be a quad focused day for this leg day. Uh, and then the next day I do for legs to be more hamstring focused with a little bit of quads uh, in that as well. Alright, wrapping up my leg day, honestly I am feeling pretty dang tired, fatigued. I'm kind of just trying to listen to my body on this one. Uh, where in most cases, I would say your body's lying to you, but in the case of coming back from Rona, I gotta give my body as much rest as possible. Uh, just feeling pretty fatigued. So uh, that's pretty much the video, guys. Hopefully you guys learned some things about leg training, take some of these tips, implement it into your training. I'm gonna be coming out with at least three videos a week on just training footage, informational stuff, entertainment, you name it. Uh, so if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're already subscribed, make sure you like, then head over to the group The Iron Lions on Facebook. Just type it into the search bar. It's a free community where we have coaches giving tips, tricks, uh, doing form checks. We put out articles, all for that private group. So go join that group, educate yourself, and uh, stay lean, mean, strength machine.